So we all know the egg, right? It's the centerpiece of my Skyblock Island and it's meant to represent the Golden Dragon pet. One of the best combat pets in the game. But right now it's, uh, yeah, I can only dream of it really. But I could still build it. And whilst I was building it, people were suggesting ideas of an island review, which was quite interesting since I only recently revamped my own island. I agreed that it would be and could be a fun experience to see what you guys had made in your own Skyblock journeys. So I announced some announcements and set up a submission point for you guys to submit, and I decided to review the islands under my opinion on six categories, detail, organisation, size and creativity all being out of 10, and extras like furniture, lore and easter eggs contributed to a score of 5, and a slightly weird category called potential. This was for most of the islands that were a work in progress and most of them would be. So this would balance it all out. If the island did look complete, the score would be distributed across the remaining 5 categories, increasing them all by 2. This would make it more fair for the islands I deemed to be completed. So the categories were set at a date and time for starting the review, but before that there is a slight disclaimer that reviewing anything is highly subjective, so if you disagree with what I say in this video it's completely, completely normal. I'm no master builder so I just thought this would be nice and a fun event to host and see what people had made. Some of them were even happy enough to join a voice call with me to discuss their builds, but I made the rookie mistake of lowering their volume in Discord every time, but since OBS already had their volume lowered, it made them all speak really quietly. And this I'd have to fix in the editing phase, so just wish me luck. Anyways, enough of the talking, let's go straight into the first submission. Right, so the first island is... It's the Outron, the guy behind me actually. Now, if you guys didn't know, Altron was actually the first person that I met at the start of the Skyblock series. The first Skyblock person that I met. So it's only fitting that he's the first submission. Okay. <laughs> Immediately, we're inside a cobble room. Hello. Oh. Hello. Let me, let me just turn on your volume yeah. bit. There we go. Okay, so you're the first one in the island submission. So take me through your island from here. This is the storage room, right? Um, yes, yeah, it's the storage room. Okay. Just the storage room. <laughs> okay, let's lead outside then. So so what's this middle bit then? It looks like a, a Mountain top? Uh, yes, it's a mountain, just like my old version of the island. Oh, okay. The first obvious thing is why everything is so black. <laughs> Do you want to explain that? I actually visited this island earlier on, so it's not a surprise really, but this is all obsidian, isn't it? It's not like I spent like three million on this. Uh, three million on obsidian. <laughs> Check out this area, which is practically all my gravestones for, well, Sad things. I I spray. What's the ice spray wand? I got one. Yeah. But I died right after. You died with it. <laughs> no, I died right after, and when I was there again, it just despawned. Oh gosh. Okay, that's one of your grave stones. Next one is Technoblade. Okay. Yeah, it's self-explanatory, really. Yeah. Yeah. This has been standing since beginning of my skyblock journey. Like. Ooh. It's been standing like. This whole time. Now just to save some time in the video here, we went through the different sections of Altron's base and he was trying to represent the different aspects of Skyblock like the barn and the park, which also introduced his minion setup. Oh yeah, and also just uh, the wheat minions. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> For every minion expert or professional watching, I'm very sorry. Didn't know the rules. Well, I, I have no complaint because I'm not that kind of guy who analyzes minion setups, so I guess it's fine with me. For everyone else, though, maybe not. <laughs> and he also had an end island, which was very creative. Okay. Yeah, like the end section. The end. I, was, I wanted to build like a castle, but um. Is it like a demolished castle? Like kind of overturned? Yeah, it's kind of, it's kind of dissolving from the void. Yeah, it, it does look like that. And he then introduced the cave sort of structure which was still a work in progress. Cave area, uh, the cave? Done yet, just like, okay, so this is a work in progress it. then. Yeah. And then he had a large chunk gain farm at the bottom, though this would become a recurring theme in most islands because now the garden was here, they were all pretty much redundant. This sugar and then the sugar cane farm at the bottom. Yeah, it's what's before the garden update. I don't think you need it anymore, right? It, it's just aesthetic, you know. And obviously there had to be some eggs. Oh, there we go. We found one. Got one. Let's go! <laughs> yeah, let's go! <laughs> it's here! It's from those stupid skyblocks uh, fairy soul area! It's underneath the island, bro! <laughs> I just wanted to mimic the fairy soul! <laughs> I'll leave the rest till me off camera because it'll be kind of frustrating. Thank you for showing me around then, or your island, and uh, no problem, I'll review your island in a bit and rate it, and 
Yeah. Yes, sir. All right. Good luck. Okay. That that was Altron. Oh, I'm glitching into the wall. <laughs> so actually, Altron's build is so big. I can't even render it properly. Okay, so in terms of detail, the edges kind of lack detail because it's an obsidian wall. But I'll give this, what, uh, seven? A seven out of ten, I think, of detail. Detail was high, but not the best. The island was quite organized, but it was a bit let down by the central island. Because of the main island, I think, being a bit scattered, I'm gonna give this a six. Six in organization. These three outer islands kind of make up for it. Size is next. Now, obviously, obviously, size. Outron is probably one of the biggest winners here. Look how big this obsidian cube is. The scale is gonna be a nine. <laughs> if not a 10, <laughs> if not a 10. Creativity, I think. This is actually really creative how he made this barn kind of work its way through the portal and the end island kind of corrupting itself in a, in a way. I would give it a seven. I think a decent seven for creativity. For extras, I think I'll give it uh, a three. A bit of lore, a bit of NPC dialogue as well, enough for a good three. And for potential, since this is a work in progress, most islands here are, I, I honestly think this has so big potential. Outron's island definitely had potential. If he neatened up the central island a bit and hid the sugar cane farm a bit more, he could work across the outer ring of islands a lot better. So I'll give it a 7 overall. So Altron gets a nice round score of 40 points. And the next person is Order 665s. Let's see what he has in store for us. Um, pretty messy. First look. Okay, but this is actually quite big. What is, what even is this? It's like a soul sand area. For raids? Enderman spawns? I have no idea. The more I went on the review, the more I would see quite scattered skyblock islands like this one with stuff all over the place. It didn't look the most appealing or appreciating, but it might function well. I mean, this, this island isn't probably for building and design. So for details, I guess I could give it a, a three. Organization, I, I hate to say it, but I'm gonna give it a zero. Yeah, everything's all over the place. Okay, fine, just to be generous, I'll give it a one. <laughs> Some something. In terms of size, six. Six for size. Creativity, a one, I'm guessing. Not very creative. We have the default stuff. Uh, I guess the only, actually, the one thing that is creative is this thing. This little miniature sand island thing, which could give it a point. So I'm saying maybe two, three. Maybe three. Yeah, I'll give it, I'll give it three for creativity. I did realize later on as well that these were were actually placeable islands so he didn't make them himself which was kind of a shame. Extras? I don't think there is any extras here. I'm gonna have to give this a zero. And potential? I don't see this having potential either. It's not in the process of being something spectacular so I'm gonna give this a potential of two. Overall, uh, Order 66 Fives has a score of 15. If you are gonna go for looks then this island needs to be better by a long stretch. Okay so the next contestant is Alara D. I think I hope I spelled that right. Let's go to Alara D's island then. Hello. Oh, can you hear me now? Okay. Hello, I can hear you. Okay, great. Let, let's let's have a look at your island then. So first, the portals. I I have been collecting those. Are these are these all the portals then? Uh, for every island, yes. Wow. Okay. I also have this. This is. Oh, is this one of those like speedy parkour? <laughs> there we go. Zero zero. I also have my house. Okay. I built this very recently for the storage, actually. Down here is store. Okay, that's nice. I also I. Also also collect every single placeable island. Oh, are these placeable? Yes. Oh, okay. He then took me through the rest of the island, including his alchemy and minion setup, and a nice quest that you could take. Go to my son Shaman Jr. You'll find a nearby. Is this like a, a quest sort of thing? This was quite a windy quest. I had to speak to a lot of NPCs for. Jardon, hey, Jardon. What are you doing over here? Uh, what year is it? I have no idea what the year is. 296, 296. Year 296, yo. And before he went, he showed me a nice enchanting setup that he had made himself. Enchanting room. I to show you. Oh, look at this. It's like a tiny kind of stall with like someone sitting at a desk. Yeah, <laughs> so, enchanting minion. Enchanting minion. Just imagine if that was in Skyblock. So now it was on to the ratings. Okay, that was Alaradi. I hope that I pronounced that right. This was definitely a nice island. Nothing spectacular, but it's probably enough for him. So I'm going to give it a five in terms of detail. It's all right. It's, it's a work in progress. It looks like as well. Organization. I... 
I actually think this isn't as organized as I thought it would be. I think 35 is good for this organization. I think this bit in the middle isn't really the most appealing to, to me. We do have bridges and everything, so I'll give it- actually, I'll bump it up to a 6. A 6, yeah. For size, I guess I'll give it a 4. It's not the biggest. Having just placed down these placeable islands kind of makes it a bit less creative, if, if you know what I mean. So I'm gonna give it a 6. We have an enchanting setup over here, which is quite creative, this bit. Extras, I think extras are really good. I think 3 for extras. The main thing holding that up will be the quest line. Potential will get a 5 to give LRRD 29 overall. The next person is OQ Dragon X. I think that's how you spell it. Let me try get him on VC then. A short while later, I was able to get him on a voice call. He couldn't talk, though at least he was here to guide me. And uh, you can type in chat then, it's fine. Right, so take me around then, in terms of chat, <laughs> I guess. It's a bit laggy actually. The frames are dropping on my PC. Something's wrong. Oh my goodness. Look what this is. How is my PC not crashing? Okay, let me, let me move away for a second. This looks like before the garden. Yeah, that makes sense. What's this big quartz thing in the middle bit? Lead to oh, is this the space station you're talking about? I mean, let me fly up then. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is so big. Oh my word, look at this. The space station was a great build. I could see that it would have a lot of potential. It's got like a bit of a Star Trek vibe. I don't know why. And there's the portals. So that's the top of the portal. <laughs> okay. I was a bit confused then. So we have like a Hall of Fame area. Uh, piece Okay, I've got this actually. The piece of wizard portal. So that's nice. I liked it. If you didn't have that massive farm over there, this would be very smooth <laughs> and very nice to see. He then took me through his minions and finally his gigantic farm. Oh, Coco Bean. Coco Bean and uh, Nether Wart then. Do you know exactly how much blocks you place down or something? <laughs> you don't know? Okay. <laughs> is this like your own island then? Okay. So this is your own island. Right, that's interesting. Now, it was time to rate. Okay, now let's try to let's try to rate this island. Detail. I don't think there's much detail in this. I gave it a 3 since there wasn't much here that contributes to the looks apart from the space station, but even then it was a bit bland. I think this is all about farms and efficiency here. So organization, I'm gonna give a 5. I think this bit right here lets it down a lot. In terms of size though, 10. I think this is a huge build. The space station itself span over a gigantic distance and the farmers made it span even further, so it was comfortably a 10 in my books. Creativity, I'm uh, sorry, I'm gonna have to give it like a 3. A 3 because of the space station probably. The, the space station holds all 3 points. So extras, I think extras can be 1 because you have the hub portals up here, so that's, that's kind of nice. I think this is a bit harsh since there was a showcase area with some armor stands, I would give it at least a 2. I think potential has 3. Okay, mostly because of the space station. I think the space station holds the most potential out of this. It's a work in progress, I think. The potential was a bit underwhelming, but I think the space station has enough in it for me to double that score to 6. So in total, the island got a score of 29. Well, the next one is by Jason. Jason. Let's try and visit him then. Um, apparently, his is... Um um, <laughs> this is a sort of island. I did not want to be in the submissions. This is tiny. <laughs> it's a mess. It, it's a real mess. That's a mess. One of the good things is he, is he has like actual pathways to the different islands. Detail one. One for detail. Good detail. Organization zero. Uh, this is the first zero I'm getting because organization's all over the place. Size. I'm gonna have to give it like a three in size. Creativity. Zero again. Like nothing here is really creative <laughs> at all. Extras I think one for the hub portal that's the only extra here and potential <laughs> potential is going to be zero yeah so not the best island out of them all he ended up getting a five in total the next one is air mail soap okay, let's go on to here and oh my goodness me this is actually not even that bad he can't join us for vc so that's a shame but look at this it's like an industrial area this build was definitely one of the best so far oh, this is actually really good i'm not gonna lie oh my goodness me this is this is so good really cool theme and really compact it's not like any mess really there we go we have the minions over here literally oh the, oh, the parkour's here this is amazing this is actually really good so let's get to rating it quickly so detail in terms of detail i'm gonna give it a good eight organization i'm gonna say uh, a nine for this in terms of organization we can kind of accept the slime minions and the slime farm over here very subtle as well so it's not like a big one and size i'm gonna give this a seven out of size so seven in size creativity a 10 i'm giving this my first 10 first 10 in creativity i'm not sure what the theme is just 
yet, so I don't have him. I don't have him to answer that. Extras, I'm gonna give it three. It has parkour, it has some um, Easter eggs as well. I thought the Easter eggs and the parkour was enough for me to give this one a three. Now, for the potential, I didn't think it would score anything since it looked in itself like a finished island, really. There was no mess or any areas he was yet to finish, so I decided to increase all the other categories by two to give him the benefit of a finished build. And this gave him a whopping 47 points out of the 55 he could get. Overall, a well-rounded build and an impressive one. Okay, so next is Mike the Sim. Okay, let, let's go over to his island then. I'm gonna look down. Now, the owner of this island originally could have voice called with me, but I didn't get a reply with him in time, so I decided to review the island as it was. He has an island. He has an island. A big sugar area. A very disorganized storage area, I gotta say. We have a bridge. I guess this is the main sort of uh, place. What the heck is that? Is that gas? Is that like a gas minion? I'm guessing so. It is. Look inside. It's all hidden. We have the minion setups and the storages. This area is kind of ingenuitive. It's like a house eating right now. Inside we have, um, yeah, we have the portals too. The farms, I'm guessing. Oh, this is the netherworld farm. Oh gosh, okay. This was a very simplistic build and a nice one at that. I was relieved that he kept his minions out of the way, but the rest of the island needed some cleaning up. So let's raid this island then. In terms of detail, um, I'm giving it a three. I didn't think a little bit most. Actually, no, actually, no. I'll give, I'll give it a four. A four. In terms of organization, I think uh, this deserves a six. Uh, it's not the most organized, as these chests kind of tell you. But the really cool thing about this is that the minion setup is inside instead. It's like hidden away. So that's, that's good in terms of organization. It's stowed away. Size being four, excluding the bottom farms, which are kind of not really used anymore. It's not the biggest island, so. Creativity, I'm gonna give it a six actually, because um, helicopter, that's not bad. Helipad, we have the island, a house area. Extras, I'll give it two. The small furtures that they added. Potential, I think. This could, this island could have potential really. I think four being the potential kind of held up again by these uh, little sorts of uh, sparks of creativity. And that gives him 26 overall score. Next is King Goose, I think. And we are there, and immediately we have a sort of a castle kind of frontier. Look at this. That's amazing. What the heck is this? <laughs> is this like part of a big mega farm? Or is this like a moat? Yeah. Oh, this is a kind of letting the whole thing down. It's not the greatest to see that. Wait, it's like an eagle. That's so cool. That is really cool. It's like held up. They're holding up the tree, which is really weird, but I guess the tree is the support. Uh, and if we stay up here, we kind of don't see the mess below, which is the farm. So I guess it's all right. So, okay, so let's rate this then. Detail is a bit, a bit of a weird one. I think this is a lot of detail, actually. Is there anything inside the castle? Battlements? I'll give it a 6 for detail. It's kind of detailed. Wait, is that like a Pokemon? I've forgotten Pokemon now. What, what even is this? Wait, what is this? Oh my word, wait, what? I did not see this. Oh, Egg Enjoyer, this is so much more creative. Um, wow, okay. <laughs> to Eagle View, Trade Center. Trade Center? Uh, Organization is seven. I think Organization is cool. Uh, a bit of a, a shuttle of chess, really, here. But apart from that, most things are kind of laid out in order. Size, size is a seven. I think the size is a good seven. Creativity, I think creativity is an eight here. A very, very creative build. Extras, I'll give it a three, because I saw some parkour at the bottom, some hub portals, MP you can see it with some dialogue and everything. Potential, I think this is a lot of potential actually. I think it's seven in terms of potential. I think this is a nice build with a lot of things that could still be added to make it a lot better. Maybe like two eagles, maybe like a big castle front as well. So in total, this island got a score of 38. So the next person to visit is Marfi. And Marfi cannot come to VC either, but he has built a humongous area. Look at this. Now, for some reason, I was getting quite quiet here, but just to let you know, this is a magnificent build if it doesn't speak for itself. That is so good. It's like a battle with like crossbows, catapults. It's like a ballista, that's it. I think that's a ballista. And then we have the big castle. It's a huge one. That is amazing. The fact that he hand trained, if he hand trained all this, that would be even better. But then if we don't look at this and we go below, I'm guessing it's going to be a bit of scrap and everything. Yeah, I, I can see he tried to get rid of his uh, nether water farm, it looks like, but it didn't really get taken away in the best sort of style. It's kind of all over the place. <laughs> I just fell into the void. Wait, what? Okay, let's go in then. Um, it's like a sort of castle area. This is really good. Look at this detail, man. Oh my word, dinner room as well. Throwing room. That's amazing. Look at this, guards. Oh my goodness me. This is amazing. <laughs> What's up, bro? There's lots more. I'm not sure if I have time to look for everything. This is a really, really good build. So let's get to uh, quickly uh, rating this. In terms of detail, I'm going to give this a good 9. Detail is amazing in this. If not 10. Organization.
optimization, I'm gonna give this a 9. If we kind of ignore the bottom bit, which is kind of, it kind of helped make this less obvious instead of making this really obvious like over there or something. So in terms of organization, very organized, I think. Size, I'm gonna give an 8. It's really big. It's quite big, actually. Creativity can be a 10. This is so, I did not expect this sort of build in my submission. Like, you guys are talented, some of you. This is amazing. This is actually amazing. But in terms of extras, I think extras can be a 4. Use of these NPC, that's really nice. Uh, an island, we have like, oh, go on dragon. At this time, I'm not home to give a tour, but all oh, doors are, and you can, I think are open. And you can see everything. Yes, look at this. That's so cool. Yo, thank you so much. That's even, that's amazing. A level 200 golden dragon. I'm never going to get that, but um, <laughs> it's, it's far away, definitely. It's definitely far away. Dragon skull, what's this? Oh, I think I see this on the, the, the spider symbol. This is even better. Look at this. And some more guards. So the extras will stay. I think extras can stay as a four because of, there might be some lore as well. But the potential is eight. I think there's a lot of potential. If not, if it's not finished already, it has a lot of potential. It kind of looks like it does need some cleaning up so that's why i say that like underneath you could add something here this was definitely one of the best and i could see how they could create a proper kingdom with this if they wanted to with sub castles and different islands well done but that gives this island the top score so far of 40 9 out of 55. That is insane. Maybe effort should have been one. <laughs> Maybe effort should have been a category. On to the next one, which is Cool Cat Felix. Okay, right. Uh, this is Cool Cat Felix's area now. Okay. Hello there. Welcome to the Atlas Hub. Anyways, please leave me. I'm busy writing a new book right now. So this is the Atlas Hub. Cool build. If only I could see outside. Can I not go outside <laughs> for some reason? Wait. 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 <laughs> Come on. A few moments later. In the end, I didn't think there was a way to get outside actually. Maybe there was, but the owner wasn't online to help me out. So I decided to give it a rating from the inside instead. So in terms of detail, I think this has a lot of detail. So I'm going to give this a 7 for detail. Organization 8. I This can be quite organized. This is quite organized actually. So for size, I'm going to give it a 6. It's not the biggest in my opinion. Apparently it's a copy of the Hypixel Atlas Hub, but in general i think making any sort of a hub a bit more roomier will help with the appearance and the experience of the player creativity though i'll give an eight because this is quite creative extras i guess extras could be a three because um we have the professor up here and the parkour and the cakes over here potential though potential is it's got to be kind of high seven i think i thought this place would have a lot of potential if it was made a tiny bit bigger and the overall score was 39 not bad i sounded a bit dull as well through some of the reviews so I'll try and voice over where I can. So next one is and the Avatar 100. Okay, so this island had a cozy looking house and a bridge that had a surprising amount of detail. It was a shame they didn't use the same sort of log types to fit with the house. So in terms of detail, I guess we can give it a 5. The house I thought held the rating up. It was a nice and compact house, but the rest of the island didn't really suit the theme and the complement the build as much. Maybe making the theme around the island a wooden sort of theme would help that. Organization, I guess I'll give a six. It's kind of, I think this main area is kind of organized. It's really cool. Size is probably a four. It's not the biggest, maybe a three. Maybe I'll drop it down to a three because it's just this bit and this. Creativity though, I think creativity can, uh, deserves a six for this island. It looks very creative. I mean, this, this house itself is kind of a creative sort of style. I think I'll give extras a two because um, I'm not really sure if I've seen any NPCs here. And over here, I guess we have some sort of decoration here but my, my PC is lagging so much but we have some sort of Christmas decorations here. The potential I rated as a 4 since it doesn't look like it could be expanded upon it's like those houses that seem very standalone but if they use a bridge sort of design to link to more parts of the island it could be a nice addition. I did like the way you integrated the slime menus though it was a small spark of creativity I would say and it received a total score of 27. The next submission I couldn't connect to so I had to move on. Okay so the one after that is Zetel. Let's see what this person has built. Um, okay. 
I... <laughs> is this even worse? So this was perhaps the epitome of a disorganized island. I guess if it was enough for them, it's fine. But for the submission's sake, this wasn't gonna score very well. Oh my word. Okay, so this is it. This is um very underwhelming, I gotta say. Detail, I don't know if I can even rate this, to be fair. I mean, I gotta, I gotta rate something. So so I guess detail, uh, a one. Organization, a one. Size has to be a one. Creativity, gotta be a zero. I don't see anything creative about this, unfortunately. Extras can be a one too. We have some cakes. That's all that's extra to be fair. And potential has got to be a zero. I don't know if I can do anything about this. Are you levitating? How are you levitating? Yo, this is a cursed place. This is the cursed place. I think this guy has an overall score of four, if I'm not mistaken, I think. And with that, I jump straight to the next admission, which for clarification was by E228. Right, so, oh my goodness me, what the, wait, I need to, I need to turn up my, I need to turn up my render distance, uh, 17, oh my goodness, okay. We've got some, we've got some things. I didn't really explain this part well, so it was an interesting island that was very quite spread out. I liked the wizard's portal area, which must have taken some time. There was also a quest line which got you to visit each of the separate places on the island, but I didn't have time to go through them all fully in the review. And not to mention the big overshadowing structure that was right above the island, which I wasn't too sure about. I know why it's so laggy. Look at this. What is this? Okay, what is this place up here? Is this like a big flat area? What? It's like, this is so weird. It's like a dummy and there's a bunch of random chests. I have no idea. I gave it a 5 for detail, partially because of the wizard portal, 2 for organization since everything was quite sprawled out. I didn't know much about what was going on and where to go, but I figured the quest would help a lot for that. 4 for size, 6 for creativity again, mainly for the center build being quite very imaginative, 3 for extras, and 6 for potential because I think if that magical theme of the middle island was repeated, there could be something good to go off of. So overall, 26 for the score. And I moved on to the next island which was by Link Farm, but I was met with a small surprise. Let's go over there, and oh wait, 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 I died! No! Oh, what? Well, how, how did I die? Let's see the island then. This was a nice house, but on its own, it looked like a very sore thumb. It was a shame it wasn't complimented by anything else. I gave this one a 5 for detail, 3 for organization, 2 for size, since it was kind of a small build on its own, leaving out the big farms, 6 for creativity, it was a cozy build, but nothing was really there to help it, 2 for extra, since there was kind of some potted plants around that apparently changed when you broke them, and for the potential, I gave it a 4, since it didn't have space to build some more and so if they had the theme of the house going they could make it a good turnout oh wait we have the hub portals here just differently <laughs> so overall this house get wait what <laughs> okay overall would be a 22 in front of my hideous self let's go to the next few ones then let's visit rng javis is that how you say it rng javis there we go let's go over there okay so there we go <laughs> we're in oh my gosh what the heck what is this place this was a great build but on the face of it it didn't have much detail but some of the builds don't need detail necessarily for them to look good in the case of judging though i had to mark it down you also had a memorial for technoblade and all well in implemented area for his minions that fit with the theme very well. I'm gonna give us a 6, a 6 to 7 for detail, it's, it's good, the detail's good, but it's also a bit repetitive. I gave him a 6 for organization, it was mostly organized apart from the chest looking a bit out of place and the brewing stands lined up on the base, so the layout he had might be a bit easier for him. I then gave him a 7 for size, a 6 for creativity, it was a great build, 3 for extras and a 6 for potential, I thought he could actually repeat the same sort of build style with more build and perhaps create a city with the space you had, so an overall score of 35. The next one is Legendary Mods. Hopefully I can get in. I can. Oh my goodness me. That is, and I'm, I'm free from my FPS struggles, but oh, never mind. Let me just not say that so soon. Now this one, he left a message of that, but apparently it was meant to represent Arlong Park from One Piece. Detail, I guess I'll give a detail being seven. In terms of the outside too, being this Japanese sort of build, really, really detailed. Some vines as well, really detailed. So I'll give detail a seven. In the end, I gave it a seven for detail and organization. It wasn't very messy, and the 6 for size since it was quite big, and an 8 for creativity, it was a very unique build. 3 for extras and a 7 for potential because I could really see them expanding on this sort of design. And so the final score was 38 for the build. Next was Dr. Legomoss, who agreed to also join me on a voice call, and again I had the volume a bit too low. Yeah, there you are, okay, so, do you want, me, do you want to show me around then, a bit? Okay. It looks a bit all over yeah. the place, but that's fine. <laughs> 
<laughs> don't mind these chests then. He proceeded to take me around his island and showed me his minions and his creative ice castle. Uh, I made it a little bit snowy, like I have this ice castle here. <laughs> okay, interesting. Very creative, I guess. Yeah, What's this thing over ice, here? Hilt of True yeah, Eyes. Hilt of True Eyes, it's a very rare drop from Yeti. Yeah, you have a very rare chance to get <laughs> to drop this Hilt of True Eyes. And you put it inside an item frame as you should. <laughs> he next rang me to a very random but interesting end structure which his co-op had made. There's something down here, it's like a, I, an end end thing? My, my co-op built that and I was oh. like, okay. And I got... An e -drag. Oh, is it like in the item frame? It is! Yeah. Level 100. Then there was a storage, a dangling Sam, Mr. Bold, and his unused farming setup. And just this took like, uh, two hours. Oh gosh. Well, that was it. Now to raid the island. For detail, I gave them a 4, since there actually wasn't much that needed detail on the island. A 3 for organization, because it could definitely be a lot less messier. 3 for size, it wasn't the biggest island. 4 for creativity. I think the ice castle sort of build he built for the snow minion was kind of nice to see. Two for extras and a three for potential. I'm not sure if they were planning to add anything to the island really, but perhaps neatening it up would make it look a lot better. So an overall score of 19 for this island. The next person I couldn't join either, so I had to skip them and moved on to Hydra Moon. Okay, so this build was quite simple and had a consistent theme. I gave his detail a four, organization is seven, creativity is six, extras a two because there was some NPCs and some armor stands around, and potential as a seven. I really thought this layout would be quite good for potential. The consistent theme and the simplicity would aid it a lot in the future. As of the moment, it lacked the impressive nature. So overall it is 28 for Hydra Moon. And finally the last couple. This has actually taken so much longer than I thought. So much longer. The next island was this person, but I won't try to pronounce the name, but let's just call them a hen. They were also available for a voice call. Hi, so... Wow, this is a big island by the way. Uh is maximum item size like uh, maximum really i have maximum <laughs> oh whoa could okay, you want to take me through uh, it then it's not the not the best like looking island because it's all for efficiency yeah, it, i'm guessing it's just like the um like all day deck storage. He proceeded to take me through some of the background of the island, the storage, and the minion areas before we got to what he was actually working on. Something oh my here. goodness, yo, that is sick! Uh, I'll come to that. I okay, can, yeah, we'll, we'll take it one by yeah, one. So, uh, the first thing I did was to make this building, uh -huh. but I don't know what I want to put in. Obviously, there's nothing in here. Yeah, it's a work in progress, I can see that, yeah. Yeah, NPCs, extras, uh, yeah. And then, uh, I built a maze. A maze, yo. The maze looked a bit tricky to me but apparently once you got the hang of a route you could do this with quite quick times so uh <laughs> and the I gun this is a weapon from i would say the game that i probably have played the most is from destiny 2 this weapon is called thorn okay, okay. See, i have not finished yeah it does look it like that it was a shame he wasn't able to finish it since he was near in the island border he did tell me that he would try to locate the gun a bit more to the right so he could then rebuild it fully yeah, i think that's my plan oh yeah some showcases <laughs> the golden dragon no way! It's me! And prehistoric egg. egg. It either will hatch as an epic armadillo. Oh, is this how you get armadillos then? Mm -hmm. Ooh, interesting. And after he explained the last few bits, it was time to rate. Okay, so Hen's Island is a weird one. This is a weird one. It's like the normal sort of skyblock-ish area. But then, but then you go above and you see something completely different. This is something that has a lot of potential. You can see what patterns are, are kind of repeated with every skyblock island. The chests everywhere, the minions, the sort of redundant uh, farms. So detail, I guess I'll give like a, a five because above, it's a bit of detail, but nothing really there so i have to keep in mind that the potential is still there it's a work in progress detail can be a five i think five is generous enough organization i can give this a five it's a bit of a sprawl area <laughs> and it's it's sort of organized yeah it is sort of organized i'll give it a six in terms of organization then i'm giving the size for this probably a seven or an eight seven i think uh, because um the actual builds themselves don't take up much space it's just this big floor kind of wrapping around the whole outer edge you can give size a seven creativity i'm gonna give it a 6, not because of this really, but more because of the build above. Extras, I'll give it a 3, I think I saw. There we have parkour, we have the extra parkour being the maze, we have the NPCs, I'll give it a 3 for extras, a bit of lore as well in that. Potential definitely a 9, I can see that he has worked hard on this. This has a lot of potential, I'm saying a 9 for this. The space he has, you can build like a whole alien sort of civilization if he wants to. Maybe the potential was a bit generous, I'm not sure if he'll work more on this in the future, but I could see 
see this turning out to be something great if you can make use of the structure's flow with similar themes. So an overall score of 36. Let's visit Mr. Red Panda as the next contestant. A few seconds later I had him on a voice call, now I had seen this island before in the live stream, so the initial bit wasn't very surprising. Or have you made any sort of addition to the island? Quite a bit actually. And to alter. Yeah, I the end some, water. Yeah, the dragon coming out. Yeah, the uh, dragon. You drop all the way down. Yeah, the big hole. You could read all of that if you want. <laughs> yeah. I also have some eggs. Okay, like okay. Now, unlike most of the others, this one had a lot of devs and he brought me through a lot of runes and a lot of lore. Is there more to this than I see? There might be. There might be. All the way up here, there's this. Okay. Uh, Cool little Ooh. passageway. Egg? Let's take the egg. Then if you okay. come up here, we have my fermentation Okay, table, yes. And actually right underneath the spike of the spawn. I see. The last thing uh, on the surface here is this uh, small liver. Okay. For my fishing minions. Big gate. Yeah, gate. Lead to down. Uh, That's a lot of a lot of NPCs. I'm not sure if I have time for all of them, but do you have any sort of summary for me? I'm not sure if I can read all this. Oh yeah, we got Mark Bingo. Uh, he just okay, explains yeah. the basics of the Bingo event. Okay. Uh, here I just have some small parts of like uh, islands you usually. Oh yeah, yeah. I see. I haven't really gone to Bingo, so yeah. <laughs> I'll have to look into it. Maybe, maybe Mark Bingo can help. The uh, Dante thing will do for last. Okay. The great what? The great... Spook. Spook, okay. You can see the spook staff, sword, and oh, armor. Oh, okay. Little small thing. The golden ball hunt that happened. Golden ball is a report you're gonna see it here. You have to eventually get a sea emperor to Jake. Oh, okay. Uh, I, I tried to pull a rabbit to Jake. It was already kind of frustrating, so <laughs> sea emperor. And then, uh, here we have Kudra sun. Kudra. Oh, I'm Kudra. yet to get there. <laughs> yeah, this is actually an ultra sign. You can uh, come down here. Claims all of the Dante event thing. Uh, then this is the armor you got. Staff you got to you know, kill damage to Dante. Generals that got uh, voted, Technoblade and all the others. You go here. This is actually all uh, after like Dante uh, got killed. We have the Techno Shop that appeared. It's very, very long staircase. This is kind of a scene of like Dante in action, I guess. Oh yeah, Dante was a uh, slime, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah, with the big slime. Uh, we have a uh, Colosseum. Uh, yeah. Small it was that him then? Yeah, this is uh, the Dante statue. You can get dun, it dun, for dun, like dun. 100 bingo points. <laughs> <laughs> is that a lot or a little? <laughs> That's basically one of them. Then uh, the destroyed bank with like the goon. Uh, yeah, that's basically it. That's it, right, wow. Right now. A lot of detail, yeah. work in progress, right? Yeah. Still got a lot to do. Okay, let me try and find my way back outside. And with that, it was time to rate. Okay, so detail in terms of detail is very, very detailed in my opinion. There was so much detail, it would be very hard for it not to be on the higher end of the spectrum. 9 for detail, it's so detailed. A very high score indeed. For organization, I'm guessing a 7 will probably fit this island a lot. Size actually is not as big as I thought. I thought it was going to be some massive build, but no, it's, uh, it's actually quite compact. It's all underneath the ground and talking about underneath the ground what is it down here yeah it's it's all like uh, behind the scenes you can see it all yeah that's all hidden though that's the good thing about it creativity though can be a 10 i think this is a 10 in creativity it's so great it's so ingenuitive extras i'll give extras a five as well partially because of all the npcs all the things he's added the lore it is amazing where he would take this next that leads me on to potential really potential i think this is an eight there's a lot to do he says the work in progress everything is put together nicely so overall, it is 45 overall for Mr. Red Panda. And for the final submission, it was totally Banana7, who I eventually managed to get into a voice call, and it seemed like a very game-inspired island. Uh, so, I've had this island for a while, and I've just like slowly added on to it when I get bored. <laughs> okay. So, Coconut Mall was the first, and then it, I think it was Rainbow Road after that. After yeah, I can, I can see Rainbow Road, it's giving me flashbacks to Mario Kart. And then, yeah. I went into my Pokemon craze, so I built the Pokemon gym. Let me have Ikea, was, right? Yeah. yeah, that was the last edition. Wow, this I is think. a really big build. What was, what was the longest build then? A coconut Mall is Definitely insane. Yeah, it's insane. Yeah, wow. I had COVID when I was making it, so I had a lot of time. I see. Makes sense. You can use horse pets as oh, you can? Like, a substitute. Have you ever tried them? Yeah, I did try them, yeah. but it doesn't work too well. He then managed to log on and took me through his slime minion setup, and I even stumbled upon his Pokemon gym. Wait, Pokemon gym? Where, have I seen that? Oh, I haven't. Where's this? <laughs> At the start of every gym, there's like a gym challenge. Challenge, okay. Parkour is mine. This is a very fun build to make. 
Yeah, it does look like that. If you, especially if you're like a, a Pokemon kind of guy. I'm not a Pokemon kind of guy, but I can see why this could be good for people to, to see and experience. If they if they like Pokemon, they know. And then I found his maze. Maze? Where's the maze? Good luck, bro. <laughs> oh yeah, I can kind of see this. Seven seconds. <laughs> and after we were finished, it was time to raid. Okay, so that was totally bananas with the game sort of themed uh, Skyblock Island. From the outside, it looked very flat, but on the inside, there was quite a bit of detail. So I gave. A seven. It wasn't the most organized, so I gave it a four for organization, and it was quite large, so I gave it a seven for size. A nine for creativity, since it was just that, very creative, nothing really planned, just like building out your thoughts. I gave extras a three, and potential a five, since you can't really predict what to expand upon next. Now, the last island was supposed to be HS Infinity, but I misspelled his name to be his old one, and I couldn't join his island. So I went back to my private island to wrap it all up. The top three were Mafia Infinity first place with 49 points, Airmail Soap 3209 with 47 points, and in third place Mr. Red Panda with 45 points. And yep, there was a prize pool of 100 million donated by the community, aka you guys, across the top three. 50 million for third, 30 for second, and 20 for third place. Thanks for everyone who participated, it was a very long recording actually. That's all we have time for, I hope you enjoyed. Well I learned a lot from this and I got to know what the the usual skyblock island is expected to be, but in the end it doesn't matter who judges you, whether it's me or a better and more famous person, make the island enough for you, making it neat and organized will of course get you far, and perhaps building upon what you already have is something you could do when you have time to kill, but through that you can express a lot of things, you can even have fun. And well done to you for staying this far in the video, it's probably been a long video and a very boring one maybe, but I hope you enjoyed my process of seeing what everyone had made, and we'll see you for the next video. Yeah, wanna check out one of these other ones to see some more from me and I'll catch you guys over there. Ladies and gentlemen, good night.